What's up guys? This is the Rofeman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as Great Britain. So to round off happened last time, we captured, we finally captured St. Petersburg. Um, which has been a target for us for many, many turns. And then we also have this island, Cameron Napier, who wants to push east. We have to engage this Russian army here because we want to try and go for Moscow. Because it looks like Prussia. If we don't, Prussia is going to get it. And that way, it's not the end of the world, but I'd rather capture Moscow and maybe potentially swing towards Kiev to start to bottle in um, Prussia, maybe. But we'll have to wait and see about that. We do have a brand new army being built here in London, full of lots of very good troops. And I foresee they are probably going to get deployed to go and land on Tangier with an eye to take Gibraltar. So then we've we've got our access into the Mediterranean secured. And it does mean we're going to be fighting lots of Spanish troops um, because Spain has a lot of guys. Then over in the Americas we've got our main force down here is is now replenished but we are wanting some more ships really to occupy the ports. And then this guy is going to sail over and potentially potentially is going to go and attack Caracas as it's quite a good territory to hold and it gives us it gives us a good uh, position to push against the uh, new Spaniards and then this force here yes. and the Elias Haskett with the Fusilier Regiment von Losberg is going to march oh, against the capital which is currently undefended well not undefended not um, not no there aren't any walls so this army that doesn't have very much artillery in it at all um, is actually not uh, not at a massive disadvantage because we aren't actually trying to break down any walls. But firstly, chiefly, we have no money. So let's hit end turn. And there goes our priest. Our priest that's so bad at converting people in the Americas, he's actually just going to go scout. We've got the French priest wandering around in our territory. Baltic is, is becoming increasingly clogged. Spain's finally going to bust, going to push our ships out of port. And then we have the new Ottoman Republic coming up, which is pretty neat. <laughs> Let's see what they do. It'd be interesting to see if they, what differences they, how, how they play the game differently to the. Um, to the main uh, the regular AI uh -oh. Yeah, oh yeah poor old Duncan blub 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 yeah don't worry Russia I don't mind you can capture my little little itty bitty fleets um, I'm too busy conquering your homeland apart from you do things like that which is annoying ugh Oh, Ooh, okay, so the Russians, that Russian army we were going to attack annihilated the Prussians. So depending on our state of readiness, we're going to push southeast. The Knights of, Knights of St. John are chasing down the, uh, the Ottomans. But my main objective is to go and annihilate that Russian army. Protestant missionary in Upper Canada. It's pretty wizard. So we've still got one guy here offsetting this French guy. Send you to Niagara. Port located Bristol. Yeah, that's the, that's the the difficult one to deal with. But it's just a privateer so let's take my big home fleet let's go hit the Russians Blep. could take into our service but I'd rather just have the money and back up to Belfast with ye let's take these ships up to join them at Belfast don't give me don't give me that lip Okay, do some minor repairs. Ooh, okay, actually, we that did impact our 
finances. So again, focus on focus on uh, growing the economy in chiefly chiefly London first because London is uh, England first because England is such a valuable territory. Let's get another sloop so that these ports are garrisoned. Then this army can go and attack Caracas. Plan. Let's go up to this army here. How are you doing? Yeah, you're pretty strong. Or do we just take Min Minsk? Potentially. Minsk is right there. And after we fight this battle, we'll have, we will have pushed the... Um, they will have pushed the, the Russians, the garrisons, out of the city. Potentially. Uh, and we will also... That will then help us with our aims of blocking in the Prussians. I do need to remember to slowly build up the garrisons around Vilnius and Konigsberg because when Prussia d turns on me, that could be quite a delicate thing to manage. Okay, so let's put our weaker units of infantry in the centre. Then let's deploy my infantry. Let's so deploy two line infantry in the first and second Royal Welsh on the right flank. Okay, good. I had to stop talking because there's a load of birds outside and they're making lots of noise and I had to check my mixer to see that you guys aren't hearing them. And as far as I can tell, I don't think you can. Alright, just a minute. I'm going to have to turn, shut the window just in case. Oh, there we go. Um, they must have been nestled right on the uh, <laughs> right on the, the roof above my window. Okay, so you guys are there. Deploy my militia on the left. Just keep them all clustered together. Cavalry. Some cavalry on the left. Cavalry on the right. What? I didn't mean to pick you, clansmen. Okay, they're fairly spaced out. So let's begin the offensive. My artillery can engage at range. Although it looks like they don't really have any targets they want to shoot. One gun has got a target. So it looks like they fortified this edge of the town. So we have to run this infantry up because they've got some light cavalry that might attempt to interfere. Our militia are going to push around and through the town. Although we do have, that's where the reinforcements are coming in from. I don't want to directly push against this fortification here because it's it does provide them provide them with a lot of cover. So I would like to focus on getting through the town first. So let's make this weighing advance at slightly faster. The glorious red of the British uniforms charging through the fields. the artillery to bombard these guys behind the walls I suppose. There we go, the light cavalry is in range. They're going to be intercepted by the Royal Welsh. Get into square! Reinforcements aren't going into town. Oh, 
Highlanders come in and support this combat. Yeah, they can't help but be drawn to the square like moths to the light. In which case, then these three units advance to catch the 40th out in the open in the field. So, where is that combat? Oh, okay, they're now attacking a other infantry regiment in the rear. Okay, let's break formation, get the grenadiers up. My Highlanders will take out the Cossacks. There's a militia regiment. Come on, you men, make ready. Engage the 40th. They have fly by rank now, that's good to know. These guys are going to open up on the militia. They're going to follow that up with a bayonet charge. Cover on the left. match them with bayonets. You men push up, Highlanders at the ready because there's more militia coming in. My militia flank is, is going to break. Fortieth is held on quite well. I can start to win some of these combats. If the regiment of horse can break the bit the bit Vibornier Strelzi. Men form up. Good. Send the militia left and the cavalry right. These pikemen are going to have something to say about what's going on. These grenadiers are going to go charge the, these militia in the rear. charge into the militia as well. Get my dragoons out of there. Elsewhere the rest of the enemy <laughs> army is in flight. So let's begin to slightly shift our position forward. Yeah, militia, some of our militia are routed, that's understandable. Get our dragoons to chase down the regiment of horse. Don't worry, militia, we can take out these bounders. Militia are not going to do well against that pike unit, but the intention is they don't have to do so for the long. Regiment of horse engage the bodyguard. The militia also get up here. Okay, these two units go wide. These two units wait in cover. You men run up 
to engage the 6th Regiment. So you guys push up on the left. Push up men for support. Enemy general's been killed. Get my dragoons turned around. Away from the cavalry. Battle. Because we've won. Smash these pikemen in the rear. Because the 3rd Regiment of Grenadiers is getting... Getting some real damage done to it. So the pikemen are doing a good job holding off my men. But hopefully... A cavalry charge to the rear is enough to... Cause them to break and flee, followed by a renewed assault by more militiamen. You guys push up in case more reinforcements come through. Okay, good, good. Move in. The objective was to make them abandon cover, which they have done. That's the militia the pikemen dealt with. Commit my dragoons to the to the further battle. Pick my troops. Get them into the tree line. General. Deploy my cav to go and attack. Any remaining enemy, the general has fallen. I believe they aren't getting any reinforcements in. These Cossacks are the last remaining unit and they have been routed. We're going to continue. So you knock out that last militia, well both of you knock out that last militia man. So you come over here and help my general knock out the Cossacks. There we go. Now Sean Bean in gold and I will never be born. There we go. 8th Regiment of Cossacks cut down by an absolute cloud of enemy cavalry. We're not going to kill them because those guys managed to rout. But that is a good battle on the outskirts of Minsk. So they've been they've been destroyed. They've been pushed back. Well, we will take our spoils. So that does... I mean, I know we're allied... And it means that the Prussians can just uh, the Prussians can just go straight through our lands, but it does prevent their direct territorial expansion. And it does give us a route towards Kiev as well as this for these forces up here. Well, I'm, hmm, I might when this army is fully re fully built, which will be next turn, I might land them up here to push Moscow itself. Then we'll have to take Kiev, Chikask. Well, we'll have to mop up the rest of the Russian lands, but we can then really start to bottle in the Prussians. Because are the Prussians at war with, Aust with the Ottomans? No, they're allied with the Ottomans. For now. And it does mean that in future we may be fighting a Ottoman-Prussian war. So uh, maybe actually having the access to the Mediterranean or controlling the access to the Mediterranean might be a good thing. Because that will prevent the Ottomans from being able to screw with us. So yeah, maybe actually my good army is going to go to... Is going to go to uh, Gibraltar. Ooh, 1v1. Could fight it, but... Kapow! Yeah, now they're going to send um, two more. Oh, they're going to blockade my port. Okay. This is how it's going to be. I guess this is how it's going to be. I need to keep. Hmm, I need. Yeah, I need to go on the offensive with Spain. Yeah, that's right. You men, regroup and fall back. Oh, 
Oh, the Marathas. Where are you going to go? Because I don't really have a navy in the Americas. Again, I should build one, really, because the Marathas now own all of India, so we can't... We can't really guarantee our safety because now they're starting to look for things to do. So down here at Cuba, we'll start to build a fleet of fourth rates. Hop up to Europe. Again, it's just a, it's a nothing army. Set you guys to recruit. I think I want another pair of howitzers, and then we're going to build a another militia unit to occupy Greenwich. Although, to be honest, we don't need to send all the fleet. Just knock out their ships. Okay, so my strong navy, well this navy here, navy headed up by victory. Well, what have they got? It's not a very good fleet. Two must I probably could just send these guys. Bottle up their major fleet. Drop unit of heavy cavalry down to Greenwich just to make sure it's occupied. Make sure you're still recruiting. Well, let's build a third, right? We research, we organize procurement. So don't go on to diamond formation. Go on to Carcashot to open the door to the gunnery school. And then we can get down towards Quicklime. New town emerges in Florida. So let's build a craft workshop. Then down here... Maybe this sloop can make way. There we go. The sloop Minotaur sail up to Caracas. Full garrison, eh? Not a very good one, though. Let's land. Let's get our ships over to Barbados if we can to prevent this army from being able to access a ship. Port blockaded Bristol. Yeah, 25 grand next turn. Again, we've spent... Because they've raided our port, we spent most of our money before we could actually do a lot of the things we'd like to do with it. So just repair the government chambers. These guys are pushing, but I hope the Prussians will take care of them. Let's hit in turn. But yeah, I do want to land. Land in Morocco. Take Morocco. Push over the Strait of Gibraltar with my naval superiority. Capture Gibraltar fortify it and use it as a base for future operations against the Spanish. They are doing quite a wide flank around through the forests. Yeah, I don't like where they're going one bit. Ooh, that's... I mean, okay, they're attacking us. They're not sallying, but they're attacking us. Let's do this. Let us fend off the Spaniards. But we need to keep our keep our ports open, our main ports open, and then uh, keep our navies suitably um, strengthened to allow us to uh, fight or destroy any blockades that do crop up. Okay, so I'm going to anchor my Scottish infantry against the town. You men are going to be unlimbered. Too bad you can't go right up to the line. Let's take our other two 
Scottish infantry units. There we go. You can get more types of Scottish infantry than this, so I really so I am looking forward to that. Get ready to deploy you guys further out on the wing. Let's keep a marine unit as cover inside the town. Then the rest can deploy out on the wing as well. Same with the rangers. There we go, line up. So right now, most of this is... Well, they got... Is the cavalry... Hmm. Keep one unit of line as cover for the cavalry. The militia, get the militia out on the flank. Rodders Rangers might actually go over here as well and do something, I'm not sure. Occupy the town hall. But I want to push with my right flank. So my artillery is opening up against theirs. We've knocked out one of their guns. They have Colonial Line, but it's their... Uh, it's their hidden units that I'm concerned about. Yeah, you haven't got any easy ways to get through the town, because I do have Marines right here. They will do a lot of damage. The main role of the militia is to act as a fairly cheap force to envelop the enemy. Good, are we about to well, do some good damage against their artillery? But let's push their flank. Rogers Rangers, maybe you will get into the town hall. If you can get there in time, you might struggle. No, that's a bit of a gamble, really. I don't think they can get to the town hall without being ridden down by three units of colonial cavalry. So, these men on the right... Push. I've not forgotten about all their hidden units. Okay, the Colonial Cavalry is wandering up to our position. Let's do something like this. Keep you guys fire at will off. If you guys want to trundle into my square formation, you are more than welcome. So you guys are going to be... Yeah, they're fire it well off. Just so they don't do, do, do too much friendly fire when we don't need it to. Need them to. There we go. There's some hidden units. So our main infantry line. Push up and engage. Enemy general's been killed, probably in that colonial light unit. The regulars, native musketmen. Good. I feel safer knowing that their irregulars haven't shown themselves yet. Their irregulars haven't shown themselves yet, and we're engaging their line. That's quite good to know. So you men are going to go here and form square, and you guys are going to form square here. Both fire it well on. 
So our artillery is secure. Too bad about the sound stuff. Keep pushing. So hidden irregulars, they're a thing to be concerned about. You guys drop into square because you're about to get hit in the flank by the light cavalry. These men push up. But let's turn their flank. So their cavalry is not going to be in a great position to push the left. Even then, if they do want to push the left, it won't do them as much good because we are pushing up. You guys don't fire at will because you're shooting your own men. Militia, militia, militia. Okay. So you guys are all going to open up into onto the, the 12th Regiment of Foot. So the Colonial Militia, yes, yeah, so they've, they've, they've hit square formation of the 23rd, but the Scottish Line Infantry have got good... Okay, let's keep remember to keep bringing my cavalry back. So they're both going to hit the first. Okay. So the 10th regiment, yeah, they've been routed. So my front line push up. Cavalry's been pushed back over there. More regular native musketmen. Get out of square, form line. These guys have finally been wiped out. Granted, they are they are just militia, so they aren't the they aren't the best type of troops to have holding your flank, but take what we can get. Oh no, you broke square. Or you got you got out of square. You guys charge the eighth light horse. Okay, there we go. Native bowman auxiliary. Starting to show themselves, so focus fire them with my artillery. We need to beat their conventional forces so we can mass on their bowmen as quickly as possible. Get these guys out of their building where they're not doing anything useful. Get you guys back here as well. Another native bowman. Fortunately, fortunately, they massed all their irregulars on the right flank. So even though their but their line infantry might be out shooting my militia, I've got a damn sight more militia. Okay. You men push up. Push up with my militia. There you go, the cavalry over here have been defeated. So now my line can come over here and join the fray. Roger's rangers can also push up. Good. So my, my militia's rolling up. This corner needs to be... I don't know why it's deploying them in that funky thing, funky direction. Not as efficient, but it does get these two units firing at least, which is something. Oh, 
There we go, you men. 74th. Where's the 78th? There it is. Keep pushing up. Push up a bit of a, a bit more on this flank. I don't know if my rangers are going to beat these guys because they're going to fire lots of shots off very quickly. So lots of fire into the 9th and the 13th regiments. When they're broken... Then their line breaks, really. You guys are going to go support the action against the native bowmen over here. Okay, let's do something like that. You guys fall in as reserve. You guys get up to point blank range because you probably aren't hitting too much stuff down here anyway. I don't know why they're not firing at will. Turn them off and on again. Routing, routing. There we go. Stand firm, Rogers Rangers. All you have to do is hold them there. You don't have to win, you just have to keep them busy. Busy for more infantry to bring firepower to bear. Although you might actually win. So they're engaging someone else. So Roger's Ranger's accuracy is 69. So it's pretty good. But it's... They're so, they're so close that almost it feels like you know, lots of shots should be telling right now. Yep, as the volleys come in. There they go. And so has the enemy fallen. That was a heroic victory. We took down the garrison of a major city. We haven't even... Oh, look at that. We could just wander in and demand the territory. We don't even have to uh, attack it. And we've got a full, a full treasury. Hey, we found a spy. Um, okay, so the Americas, you guys, after a stunning victory, A, you get a general, we're going to recruit from our artillery pool, Horace Davidson. Davison. Horace Davison, eh? Demand the surrender of Caracas after a stunning victory. Let us upgrade the buildings here. Make sure you guys are replenishing. Good stuff. So I don't know where that Maratha Navy went. So I don't want to move you guys. You're quite a good little catch all in case something goes wrong try Riviere craft workshop okay so the Russians are pushing around 
So let's take these men, march them eastwards, recruit some more men in Vilnius, bolster these men with the garrison from Konigsberg, bolster them with some Lancer guards. We will, I'm going to end this episode, spoiler alert, by attacking those Russians, so may as well spend the time now to do a bit of housekeeping. Let's see you men keep punishing major fishery. No, not bothered about fishery. Thank you very much. We're going to build a better road, upgrade the priest, upgrade the farm, go back to Edinburgh. Because I want to get the barracks, because what you will see is as we go up the barracks track here, we get lots of unique units to be recruited in Scotland, which is pretty cool. We also need to potentially look at bulking out our fleet with something a bit cheaper than our heavy ships of the line. What I am going to do is take this navy... Shift the militia out. Take this militia, swap them over with the heavy cavalry. George Wade is being brought to war. Let's see if he can get there in one turn with a sloop. With a fifth rate. Oh, fifth rate goes pretty far. Yeah. Land the troops at Morocco. Take my navy, blockade the Spanish, maintain a control zone through the strait so they can't resupply, disembark the army. I mean, if I attack Tristian de Lezzo, does that... I mean, I may as well just go after the garrison, right? I don't know, if I attack this guy, will he just fall back, or will he call in the reinforcements? I may as well do that, actually, and call in the garrison. Um, but, looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode, and I haven't forgotten about the Russians. I am going to deal with them, but, looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for uh, George Wade's first action against the Spanish. Cheers, everyone.